Well, I have to say, few of us, when we embarked on our broadcast journalist careers all those many, many years ago, for me, it was a training course, local radio, regional television, national television. Few of us can be, have imagined that we would be covering one story and one story only for such a long period of time and with no end in sight. Uh, but we've all had to learn things. I've had to learn how to harness technology. I wish I'd done this a lot sooner, but we're all learning as we go along how to use the technology to get on air. I have been doing pieces still from ITV News. I'm in lockdown in isolation in Norfolk and what I'm doing is going and Skyping and Zooming interviews. They're verbs I haven't used very often. And I do my interviews. I then email them to a remote editor in Manchester or Liverpool who probably is normally in his bedroom and he edits there. I record my voice on a phone. I do it over the duvet in the bedroom. I email that and we stitch the piece together over FaceTime. So this is how much technology and the life of broadcast journalists has changed so, so dramatically. But we're learning as we go along and it's fine. And what we've also learned is how reliant we have become on members of the public sharing their news with us, real news, because that has been completely governing what we cover, whether it's mate, uh, Captain Tom Moore or the NHS workers, they are the ones dominating rightly our headlines and dominating what it is we put out on air. And we're trying to work out the technology to reflect accurately in this era of fake news, what is really going on and how much these people are doing. So all I'd like to say to all of you out there, whether you've been in the career in journalism and broadcasting for absolutely ages or you're just embarking on it, we're learning stuff and this is going to end and we all have to be ready for when it ends and even for the day perhaps when normal life resumes. But it's tough times and we're getting through and it's a privilege to be in this industry, in the news industry on which people seem to be relying a lot at the moment this is what it's here for, so it's great to be here, but I am so looking forward to normal life resuming and as all of us being ready for that.